what's in the box? What's in the box? Let's roll that intro. going on YouTube and how's it going today today we're gonna do an unboxing video as you can see this just arrived in my mailbox today I've been waiting for this for a while this is really gonna help in riding in the winter time so let's get this thing unboxed if I can cut all this tape one of those what's in the box videos for this well for a week anyways so how well is it gonna pull apart for me there we go oh come on you bastard come on you bastard as you can hear it's raining outside and it's cold and this doesn't want it there we go oh, oh, oh what's this No. Uh, just the way plan. All right. Look at this. This is a pair of five advanced gloves. This is the HT1 waterproof heated glove. And as you can hear out here, it's raining. Get this bag off this thing. Let's see what's inside this box. Oh, heck yeah. There we go. I'm waiting all week for these things. The weather's getting really cold. And well, I'm not riding her anymore. She's parked for the winter. But the bike in the background, I am riding her all the time. So all videos now from now on are going to be on the old Suzuki until spring and then uh, yeah because yeah it's the weather shit I ain't going to pull the Harley out in this weather I got two bikes man but anyways let's check this out and if you like this make sure you uh, like and subscribe man like well at least subscribe could always use more subscribers it doesn't help but anyways it's the five advanced gloves the HT1. It's just the heated glove. So let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Well, a bunch of bags. Okay, let's see what's. Let's put the box down on the ground for now. What's in this box here? Okay, we get one little white box. Camera keeps turning off here. What's in here? Okay, this. This is the charger with two prongs. This is so you can charge the batteries because these are battery powered gloves. So there's the charger. These are the two batteries, I'm guessing. Well, that makes sense. Now, I couldn't find a whole lot of information on these gloves on the internets. I did find another video that some guy did years ago. And he had them, his batteries failed or something. He had problems with his, so I'm gonna have to check into the warranty of these things to make sure. So this is what the batteries look like. And of course the charging port and everything plugs into right there. Looks pretty well made. There's one battery, stick that back in there. That's the second battery. Let's bag this mother. I believe these are LiPo batteries, so you're going to have to keep an eye on the charge. You'll have to read the instructions on how long the charge is for. So those are the two batteries. So those, they go in the gauntlet part of the glove, and we'll get to that in a second here. Now they've got destructions inside the boxes. I'll have to look at those later. All right, let's bring this box back up here. There we go. Now what's this? Okay, so here's the book. Here. Let's quickly scan through this book. Mind you, it might be in every other language, but the language I want. Uh, how to use your heated gloves. Uh, yeah, so it's 
couple different languages here. It looks like German, French, Spanish. All right, installation of the battery, pretty straightforward, but I think this is all every other language. These have got three settings I've seen. All right, let's, let's bring out the pride and joy of why I bought these. All right. So yeah, this is the five, five advanced. Um, I use the five advanced summer glove. It's a mesh glove and it's a really nice glove. I really enjoy it a lot. Now I got these an extra large because I got a pretty big mitt. Come with silica and whatnot. All right. One of the reasons why I really like the five glove out of a lot of the other gloves that I've uh, used is because they got these little palm sliders on the side of them. But yeah, it's you know, all leather. Nice hard knuckle. The battery pack goes supposedly in here. Yeah, there's the Velcro in there. It's really dark here. I don't have a whole lot of light. It's just, you can probably hear the rain coming down outside. Man, it's raining outside. Um, the power is right here. Three settings. You got a zipper right here. You got a clinch uh, right here. A nice rubberized clinch. Oh, I like that. This is an extra large glove, so how are they going to feel on my hand? Oh, they're nice and soft inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, those fit like a glove. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Now, these are supposed to be waterproof and uh, and heated, of course. But, oh, my goodness. i cinch that down. Oh, that's nice. Why are you not cinching? Oh, I see why you're not cinching. you got to go underneath that. There's a little leather piece right here, and that goes over top of it. Okay, makes sense. Gauntlet style. Oh, fuck yeah. Those feel warm already. Good old book here. Let's pull this off here. How easy are these to deal with with the gloves on? Okay, they're pretty easily in there. Alright, cinch that down. Nice and tight around the wrist. Okay, pull this up. Is this going to be to pull up? Not bad at all. Oh, those fit great. Oh, I love those knuckles. Good knuckle protection. Oh, yeah, those fit real nice, man. Palm sliders. Good leather texture. Oh, these feel awesome, man. These feel awesome. Yeah, Advance 5, man. Um, I like these guys because, A... They uh, they don't do anything but gloves. They make only gloves. Where other manufacturers, they make everything. Where th this company just makes gloves. They don't make anything else but gloves. Oh, wait, I love these. These feel real good too. I'm looking forward to charging up these batteries and seeing how well they keep my hands warm. Now, are they waterproof? Well, I've yet to find a glove that's waterproof. Um, there's no such thing as waterproof. Everybody says I've got $200 Klein gloves that say they're waterproof. They're not waterproof. I got Icon gloves that say they're waterproof. They're not waterproof. They're waterproof to a point. Eventually, the water is going to get through to your hand. Uh, so, keep that in mind. This is why I have three pairs of waterproof gloves. So, when one gets wet, I can grab another pair and put them on and have dry gloves again. And this is my third pair of waterproof gloves. Like anybody knows me, man, I ride year round. Unless it snows, it's the only time I park my bike. And where I live on the West Coast, we don't get a whole lot of snow, but we're supposed to get a lot of snow this year. But it's been cold already early this year. And uh, my hands, the last two winter seasons that I've ridden, have gotten really cold. And you, the last thing you want is cold hands while you're riding a motorcycle. They just, they just don't, uh, they're just, they're not fun. But yeah. HG1. They also make another one called the HG3. This is their top of the line five, five advance. And uh, like I said, you know they got that palm slider. I've there's summer gloves I've had for three seasons now, and they're still going strong. Uh, I like them really. They're really great gloves. They just flow a ton of air. My hands never swell. My hands sweat, but not power sweat. They're nice and they're great to have, right? So care what anybody says you gotta wear gloves man you go down the first thing that's hitting the ground is your hands and if you don't have any gloves on you're gonna get ground up like hamburger
But yeah, I like these. Now, the real test is going to be how well are they going to function? You know, how well is the uh, how well is the uh, warranty going to be on the batteries and stuff? Can I buy replacement batteries if my heating coils fail? What are they going to, uh, are they going to replace them? What's the warranty on these things? This is all stuff I'm going to have to check out, obviously. And then uh, make a future video on that, but yeah, those are nice hard knuckles. I like those. Those are hard, hard knuckles too. That's not an old D3O, man. That feels like a fiberglass knuckle almost. HG1, five performance technologies. I really like these. The battery is a little slot right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's pretty dark. I can barely see it myself, but there's a little Velcro thing and the batteries will just slip right into here. There's a little wire in here somewhere. Where is it? I can feel it. There it is. There's the wire. Your battery will plug into that. I grab the battery. This will just plug into your battery right here. Like so. And then they'll tuck away inside. Let's see if there's any power in this battery. Hold it on. There we go. So, it does have power in the battery. So that's on. That's, uh, I think that's full hot. I'm not sure. Tap it again. That's cool. That's mid. And that's hot. So, yeah. Probably run blue. Then you hold it again. And it goes off. So let's put it on for a sec. I'm told that about a two hour full charge is about a two hour charge. So let's see if I can feel any heat on the inside of these things yet. So I'll this here up. Battery probably doesn't have a whole lot of juice in there, but I don't know how long it's gonna take to heat up. Okay, yeah, feels like it's warming up. So obviously you're gonna wanna preheat these things maybe. And I guess the real test is when I ride to work tonight. It cools down in the rain and just see how much they, how well they work. I can feel them warming up. They feel really nice inside too. They got a really nice uh, material on the inside. Almost feels like a rabbit fur kind of softness. I'll give a full review on these here in a couple days once uh, we've got some nice cold weather coming up here at the end of the week. We'll be riding in minus one or 30 degrees Fahrenheit, minus one Celsius in the morning and stuff coming home for work. So that'll be a little chilly. That'll really put these gloves to the test because I don't have any hand guards on my on my bike so I get the wind straight on the gloves and my fingertips the easy free is pretty good so this will be the real test but this battery probably doesn't have a whole lot of charging okay so you just hold it again it turns off and there you go and just like that I'm gonna have to give these a charge tonight and uh, see how all these things work plug them it takes a bit to unplug it which is good you just got a good solid plug anyways follow me on instagram if you haven't already mosh all over those like button if you like this stage dive on the subscribe button and we will slayer another time cue the music mm -hmm.